So somebody in the RTL 433 forum was trying to get some help demodulating a signal they received. So I'm just going to use URH and I'm gonna give a quick example of how you can do this. The person gave an example of their file, which is here, and this is the recording they received. One of the first things that I like to do is go in and see where the noise is hitting on here. Okay. And the other thing I like to do is in the demodulated view, look and see how it looks. And while we can definitely tell there's a distinction here, I'd like to make it a little cleaner. One of the easiest ways to do that is to go to our spectrogram view. I then zoom in on the signal. When I zoom in on the signal here, I can see that I pick above and below. I right click, apply a bandpass filter. Now we have another view of the signal here, but our noise is a little high, so I'm going to reduce the noise. Okay, now we'll use our Y scale to see. Yep, so now we're just covering the center, which should help us be able to demodulate this cleaner. So I just zoom in to see how it looks. Okay, I'm gonna go from an analog view to a demodulated view. Now I'm going to decrease the Y scale, and now we have a much cleaner signal that we can look at. Now, I like to go to the hex view because it's easier for me to read. Okay, now let's move to our analyze. At this point, we're seeing before we applied the filter and after, so let's look at just the one after applying the filter. So we have these six signals that were detected. I again want to go to the hex view. Now that I'm in the hex view, I can see that this is all A's. Let's go ahead and see what happens if we invert the view. Now we have all fives. Okay, um, I feel pretty good with that. Doesn't look like we have any major errors. And now what this allowed us to do is actually come in here, be able to see the signal, be able to see what we might be looking for. And now that will help us be able to start finding patterns as to what's going on. So now what I would do is I would record multiple signals doing the same technique and I would look for differences. If I know that the temperature changes, I would see which block changed when the temperature changed. If I was using a remote with different buttons, I would look in here and see which ones changed as the buttons changed. And I would also look to the end to see if it has a type of rolling code or any kind of checksum. But that's a quick, easy way using URH to be able to come in, start demodulating, and start trying to determine um, what some of these can mean inside of here. And right now, this signal looks to be the same the entire way across.